guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review and a swatch of the newly launched Blue Heavens Pop and Glow Cheek and Eyes Gel Bloom Blush. Now just for my comfort, I'm just going to call it as a gel blush. So I feel this is the era of cream blushes and I'm for it. So they have come out with five shades and I have picked out all the five shades with me. As always, you can check the description box below to see the shade names. And for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right into the video. quickly go over with the description and the features of these blushes now it says that the blue heaven pop and glow cheek and eyes gel bloom blush is a gel cream based formula that has the goodness of a rose hip oil coconut oil and squalene it adds a beautiful flush of color to your cheeks and eyes gives a buildable sheen and is super light on your skin gel cream based formula allows you to adapt to the level of coverage required from light medium to full like I mentioned before, they do offer about 5 shades in total and these are priced at 275 rupees for 8 ml of product and right now, at the moment, it is available only on purple.com, that's where I picked mine off of as well. So this is how the packaging looks like which comes in this baby pink squeezy tube with black and blue writing which is in power over their current packaging which is the new one and over here at the back you have is the quantity where it's been manufactured, the price and the shade name as well. And one once you unscrew the transparent cap out, this is how the nozzle looks like, wherein you have to squeeze a bit to get the product out. And now let's finally move on to the swatches.
all right so let's quickly go over the formula the pros and the cons now coming to the formula this is a very thin gel like consistency and when you initially apply it like a blob it does look pigmented but then when you blend it it becomes into a sheer sort of a coverage which i personally do like the reason is because you can build it up or you have the control on how much you want to build it up to make it darker or brighter or just to leave it as it is so yeah it is quite buildable which i personally like now you can blend these blushes by using a damp sponge but then i kind of personally do not recommend it the reason is because it does shear it out a lot and you hardly get to see it so i would rather personally prefer is a brush or you could even use your fingers now these are smooth and easy to blend and once it is blended it gives a semi matte finish so it's not exactly matte nor is it exactly dewy but it has a light glow or sheen to it now these are not fully transfer proof but it kind of is so when i wore the mask there was very 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 light transfer on it and these are quite waterproof which i was surprised about because as soon as i received these i kind of swatched it on my arms and when i was trying to wash it off as when i realized it is quite waterproof so yeah that's a good thing now coming to the longevity of these blushes it does last quite well even on my oily greasy skin now for example right now i have these on for the last i think 4 hours or so approximately and you can still see the color even though i'm oily throughout you can still see the pigment and lastly i do love the packaging of these it is a small squeezy tube it's travel friendly and this is extremely similar to the flower beauty one which for example for example the blue heaven one is a little bit more thinner little bit and so it is i identical so yeah and now for the FYI there is just one quick point and that is the fact that these do have a slight oil like smell to it i'm guessing it's one of the oils that is in the ingredients so it's not too strong you cannot smell it when you add it on your cheeks it's just that if you are like this close if you apply it here and this close to it is when you can smell it but otherwise it's not that strong so FII. And now for the cons, the first point is that I feel like a parrot saying this again and again for so many other brands as well that there are no swatches available online. So even the picture that is shown online does not exactly represent the way how it looks in real life. So yeah, no swatches. first con the second and the last con is to do with the packaging and now i had mentioned earlier about how good the packaging was which it is however for the product to come out of the packaging is a struggle i feel it could be because of the formula or maybe because the packaging should have been a bit more smaller for the quantity that could have helped i don't know but there is a lot of struggle to squeeze the product out of the packaging for me that is a con which is a personal opinion it's not a deal breaker it's not like a huge thing but yeah so overall in my personal opinion i do love these blushes and highly recommend them even if you have oily skin normal skin or dry skin you will love this formula because it is such a good formula especially for the price of 275 rupees and you get 8 ml of product Also by the way this is 275 but I picked mine up for 151 rupees so keep an eye out you can buy it for much much more cheaper so yeah so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the blue heaven pop and glow hold on cheek and eyes gel bloom blushes and this wrap today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or request i will try and answer for you as well as follow me on my socials which is shanair on instagram and shanair on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye